Good morning, madam. Good morning. How are you doing? I am doing very fine. Hmm. Good to see you. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Raj Kumar. I am in the business. I am in the insurance business. Basically, okay. general insurance business. This is vehicle insurance business. And right. uh, I am doing for last thirteen years same business. Okay. Before that, I was working for loan loan product sales. Okay. Sales. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. Yes. And where are you from? I am from Delhi. I I was born in Delhi and brought up in Delhi. Okay. So currently you are living in Delhi. Yes. Okay. So yeah. Uh, shall I introduce myself now? Yes, madam. Please. Okay. You know. You know my name is Shanta. Uh, I am yes, a spoken English trainer, and I am a full-time homemaker. I live in South India, Karnataka. I have completed my engineering in computer science, and I worked as a software engineer as well. So yeah, currently I'm just a homemaker, and I run a YouTube channel. It's been a couple of months that I've started my YouTube channel, and basically I'm uploading mainly conversations and other tips and tricks for spoken English. Yes, that's what I'm doing currently. I have seen so many videos here for last uh, fifteen days, approximately. Oh, okay, okay. So are you liking the content? Yes, madam, definitely. That's why I contacted you on mail. And uh, yes, unfortunately, yes. a few days back, mm. a meeting was uh, not uh, happen. Hmm. Yeah. Three times I have tried that. Yes, yes, yes. That's okay because you know I'm busy nowadays because of, I'm getting a lot of mails, right? So it is taking a little time extra for me to reply to messages. Yes. Tell me, uh, why do you want to improve your English? Do you have any no, challenges? No challenges uh, in the business. I do not have any challenges. My most of the customers speak in Hindi, even they okay. don't speak in English. But sometimes, very rare occasion, I get customer when I have mm. to speak in English. Right. Even then, uh, in working place, I feel some difficulties. So that's mm. why I was to improve. That's why I was to improve. I want to improve my English conversation. Okay. In right, right. I have taken so many classes earlier also. And uh, one of the teacher, uh, Mr. Jadeep, if you search on Google, uh, you okay. can find a uh, grammar classes, not a conversation okay. classes. I have taken. Right, right. Mm. So you have taken only yes. grammar classes so far? Yes, yes. Two, three times. Mm -hmm. Not any conversation or fluency class. First okay. time I am doing so. Uh, I have searched for clapping go uh, fluency classes, but I have not taken that. Mm -hmm. So you wish? Do you wish to take any subscription of any platform for spoken English? Yes, I I have tried earlier for clapping go, but their uh, their charges were so high, so I have not taken that. It was a 15 yes. day or month back, approximately. Mm. They are taking charges so much. Exactly. Yes, yes. You know, but there is a difference between grammar classes and spoken English classes because in mm. grammar, maybe they will teach you lessons and where to use what. Yes. Right? Yes. Mm. But when when you learn grammar through speaking, it is different. So you don't, okay. you know, you, you, you will learn how to apply the grammar rules in your speaking practice. Just learning okay. grammar won't do, won't help you much. Okay. Yeah, that is okay. basically for children, right? Because you, they learn grammar in school because they need to write an exam. But as grown ups, we need to use it in our daily life. We need it to use it in our spoken English. So separately, grammar classes is not advisable. It has to be more of spoken thing. You need to learn by real okay. world examples, real life speaking. Okay, I actually am looking for any classes, but when I have seen charges, but earlier I thought mm -hmm. it was a slightly lower, but when actual charges I know I came to know that was very high. It's very Even expensive, then, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right, and the duration is also very short, right? In 15 minutes of class, then the fees is quite high. That is the way that is the like kind of challenge for people who want to take a spoken English class, but the prices are so high they can't afford it. 
Yes, yes. This is the only reason. People try yes. and uh, first class they take 99 rupees for 15 minutes. Yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> they start mm -hmm. very high charge. Yes, yes. Just yes, the trial okay. session. You you basically don't get to learn anything in the trial session. It's just they are introducing the platform yes. to you, how to use. Yeah, that's of no use actually. Yes. yes. Hmm. Right. So what are you doing in but order to? I am not doing anything much. Actually, I just listen the video. Other, other, any another thing I am not doing. Currently, I am not doing. Mm, yes. Actually, in business, I don't need any English fluency. Very rare, rare occasion in a month once uh, only I need. Even then, I mm. want to improve. I have time, spare time, so much mm. spare time. So I want to utilize that. Yes, I want yes. to utilize the my spare time. I don't want to waste my any time, so that's why even I do practice in some other things also. Mm. I do not waste my time. <laughs> right. Yes, you know, because it is very important to use your time constructively. You just otherwise mm. you will spend your time like watching videos or something which don't add any value to your life. But it's not yes. it is never a waste to learn any skill. It will definitely help you in one way or the other. Yes, that's why I was looking for him. Right, right. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can ask me any questions if you have. Uh, actually, I have seen so, so many videos here, and uh, how do you got this idea? You told uh, in last video, or I, I do not remember last to last video, you mm -hmm. left your job. That's why you started the this platform basically. Yes. Yes, you know, I, I'm a software engineer and after college mm -hmm. I worked for a couple of years. I worked at Tech Mahindra in Bangalore. So after that, you know, I was okay. asked to move to some other place which I was not ready at that time. So that is why after that I got married and I moved to some other country. So I, I couldn't continue my IT industry job <clears throat> at that time. So after a career gap after 10 years again, it is not, you know, uh, easy for me to get back into a software job now. So I started applying for freelance positions and I got a, a chance of working as a tutor of spoken English. So I work for a platform called as Ink Talky. Just like okay. Capingo, it's called Ink Talky. So currently I'm working there as well. And um, so still I have time, like as you say, one or two hours extra in a day, I still have. So I thought I'll also make free conversations with people and start a okay. YouTube channel also. So that, you know, people who cannot afford to join any uh, spoken English class at least they can see these conversations and learn and I could give at least one chance to one person you know by having a session with them okay. yeah that is how I ended up here how is your uh, platform YouTube channel going on I see your subscri subscription going up and up day by day <laughs> latest yes, subscription yes. is approximately 2000 something like that yes it's been two <laughs> months Yes, 15 days back it was approximately 800. I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe so. Yes, I'm not <laughs> so very sure when it increased, but gradually it is increasing because it's been two months yes. that I'm uploading content on a daily basis. October end I started it. So now it is 2000 plus subscribers currently. So yeah, it is doing pretty good. I have seen your content. Basically, it, uh, it is very good. Content is okay. excellent quality. Yes, I yes. Have seen so many other person content also, but uh, I, I, your content is much much better. If you mm -hmm. add something related to education, then it will yeah. be much more better. Hmm, I will consider the suggestion. Uh, yeah, I want so, to do so many more things, but you know I have my own limitations. I'm a homemaker. I have so many ideas to ex uh, to do. I don't know. Let's see. No, but in content, if you add slightly education link, slightly, slightly, even you can say any course related or like that, people will be more, more, much more interested. Mm -hmm. You mean to say, like, you know, I have to start my course, something of that kind? No, 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 no not that. If you give some information which uh, industry is better related to job or you related to career and related to education okay 
which okay okay even, okay even 2 3 minute you provide that idea i don't need it personally i don't need any such kind of advice but i hmm. think people need that that type of advice okay okay i'll consider that and uh, one more question i have when you moved in another country which country was that was in uh, which I country moved to, yeah i moved to australia i lived in melbourne okay i lived there for 7 or 8 years have you done any jobs in melbourne australia yes i have done some odd jobs like you know just the daily okay. kind of you know some something odd which i had fancy about but i did not go for a it job or something i just did like just for time pass kind of things yeah i worked there okay. as well my daughter is also working in bangalore she is living bangalore. in bangalore Yes. Okay. Yes. Sir. What does she do? Uh, she is in the city corp. She just joined four five months back. Okay. Okay. So she what is she? Is in, uh, she is a financial consultant uh, in city corp. Risk analysis. Okay. She okay. joined in twenty uh, fourth July. She done. Mm -hmm. She has done her master in economics. Very nice. So she stays alone in Bangalore. Oh, her uh, three, four, th uh, four more friends, college friends, they join in the city corp itself. They are living in the same apartment. Okay, okay, yes, yes. It's very nice in Bangalore. Yes, she, she will love it there. Yes, weather is very, very nice in there. Mm, mm, right, and now nowadays the weather of Delhi is very bad, right? That's what I get yes. to hear. Yes. Pollution and uh, even a winter. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> weather and pollution both. Yes. Mm. So basically, even you are into the money business, and even your daughter is kind of like that, right? You're in sales and yes. insurance, basically related yes. to money. Yes, I always related to money business. When I first started, is that was a share broker. Mm. Second, I started loan through bank. That is, this is my third basically business. You can say that this is mm -hmm. all the all the products we have. I have been done in financial, financial product basically, financial mm -hmm. product category. Right. So, can you give any three top tips for you know money or investment or finance kind of things? Any three top tips? Yes. Yes, I have idea about that. Um, if you want to invest. If you want to, if you have some spare money, uh, never invest in uh, bank FD. First advice. Okay. And and second advice, never invest in gold. Okay, you mean and to say physical gold? Physical no, gold or? Physical, yes, physical gold. Definitely, you should not go for that. Yeah, but and you can go uh, for something like a bond, right? Like sovereign gold no. bond. No, mm -hmm. yes, gold bond you can choose that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But not a physical gold. And mm -hmm. uh, and another thing, you should invest in stock. But uh, right now, it is not a good opportunity. Definitely not a good time to invest. Actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you have some money, definitely you should uh, upskill. Uh, you should uh, invest in yourself. You should improve your skill. Oh, so you think that is the best investment, like yes, investing, in, spend definitely. money on yourself? Yes, yes, it will give return for coming hundred years, not a two, three, five years. Oh, Even your okay. child, if you have something, you pass to your child, your kids. Yes, definitely they will learn from you, and uh, generation will get benefit. Okay, very Next nice. Generation yeah, will definitely get benefit that. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you are in the business, and uh, you when you invest in yourself, you will get so many ideas, so okay. many new yeah. information, mm -hmm. which uh, you uh, never have earlier. Mm -hmm. And uh, that information, if you pass to your children, your kids, definitely mm -hmm. they will get benefit in coming years. Mm -hmm. Invest in yourself means to say something related to education, right? 
like you learn something new or something of that sort no not only to education and another things if you have some sales skill just uh, you are uploading your video that is also part of sales it is <laughs> not a totally that is this is only something related to sales but sales part is very 10% other yes. parts content is 90% whenever you do some anything sales part always uh, will be there mm. even your if you in your home if anything you do sales part is there you have to convince <laughs> your family yeah <laughs> in sales you have to con convince your customer right right but in directly sales you sales is 90% and product is 10%. Mm. But in home, you can say can, uh, sales part is only 5%, 95% content and whatever product you deliver to your family or any relative or anything. Right, right. So sales is ev in everything. In home mm -hmm. life, sales is there. Sales is there. You have to be a good salesperson. Yes, definitely. For good salesperson, you have to. Uh, good communication skill, not in mm. only in English, in Hindi or another. Yeah, language. whichever language. Some, yeah. Yes, whichever language. And you, like, can you tell me, like, you know, three best personality traits for a business person? What are the three best things that he should have? Like, you know, any personality traits. <clears throat> by me, uh, what um, habit should he have in himself? Like. For me, I would say my personality traits are I'm disciplined, I'm hardworking, I'm punctual. So likewise, to be good at business, what are the three top qualities should a person have? They should have patience. <laughs> if you invest something, you should not expect the very next day something. Hmm. Sometimes some investment get a return after a five years, some get 10 years, some, some take 20 years also. Hmm. Some things, uh, something result give very next day. <coughs> if you are in the uh, local business, any fruit seller are like, you expect a return next day. And right. uh, something in another business, if you invest in any person, like if you hire an employee and uh, you give task to him, you should not expect very next day or very next month from him. Mm. Okay. And the patience is very. And uh, another thing, uh, hard working. You already told that. Mm -hmm. And uh, you should have understanding of another person. You should not think only about yourself. You should be considerate of the opposite person also. Yes. Right. You should uh, <clears throat> take. Uh, you you must have understanding of another person also mm. otherwise you will be not able to negotiate like that right <laughs> and uh, another thing uh, some say unethical you should uh, have some secrecy also another person you should have get some knowledge of another it is a necessary in business mm. your competitor knowledge you can say that yes 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 his True. strength and his weakness. Mm. If you don't mm. know your competitor's strength and weakness, you will be not able to hit uh, on his weakness. And mm. you will be not able to prepare for your strength. <laughs> yes, you basically need to be smart. Yes, definitely. This is a must mm. in business. Right, right. And what is the best investment option or as of now, if you have some extra cash coming in? So which is the best investment option other than like gold bonds? Do you recommend mutual funds? Yes, definitely in mutual fund compared to shares. You should shares. invest in mutual fund. No, no, not in shares. You should yeah, invest yeah. in shares. Compared to share, fund. you have to mutual funds. Yes, yes, but very low amount in mutual fund. If you have 100 rupees, you should not invest more than 20 rupees right now. This is okay. not a good time, basically, for any investment. Okay, for any investment. Okay. Yes. But if the time is good or for any, you know, 
so what is the evergreen investment anytime you can put money in that evergreen investment in always in share mutual fund but in this time is not a good time whenever you get some bad news you should invest okay this time every good news is going on like mm. government is good, doing good everything is going on in covid yes. time if you have invested ah. okay just then you have at least double your investment in 3 years mm. <laughs> so mm. always try to find whenever people say invest do not invest go opposite most people whenever people say this time is not good do not invest anything definitely mm. you should go and invest prices are definitely that time always is cheap whenever mm. people say it is not a good time to invest everything mm. is bad government is not doing good business are not doing good then valuation will get cheap then you right. should go and invest then you should go and invest in covid time every everyone saying uh, don't the invest there, yeah future will be not good hmm but when people people were selling bonds and shares and mutual fund yeah valuation was very cheap hmm now, right when nowadays if you open any business channel every people every spokes person say you should invest this is very good time for india but if okay. you see valuation valuation of right. shares it is a quite high right yes so this time it is not a good for investment in not as particular in mutual fund or uh, particular in shares this time you can say fd is also good okay <laughs> but but you you should invest some amount you, you should you must have kyc in mutual fund whenever mm. you want to shift that it should mm. not take time like right right oh i get it yes yes okay yes yeah you have any other questions or you want to tell me something share something yeah, you can do so or we could end the session here no we can end hmm. the session next time okay. if i get opportunity definitely i will i would like okay. to contact you this is my okay. first session so hmm. okay thank you okay. thank you so much for joining you have a good day bye 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 thank you welcome